when your cell in need for certain proteins, a part of your DNA or gene that is responsible to encode for the needed protein will be activated. The gene will undergo transcription process to produce mRNA. Then the mRNA will undergo translation process to produce the protein. Transcription occurs in the nucleus while translation process occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell. The protein produced then will be used by the cell. In this video, you will look at the transcription process in the formation of mRNA strand from 5' prime to 3'. Prime. There are three stages in transcription, initiation, elongation, and termination. And in transcription, only one enzyme involved, that is RNA polymerase. The activated gene will have a promotocyte and terminator site. These two sites are responsible to act as a guide for the RNA polymerase in the transcription process. The first stage is initiation. Here we have our gene that have the promotocyte and the termination site. RNA polymerase will bind to the promotocyte on the DNA. Once the RNA polymerase bind to the promotocyte, it will unwind and unzip the double helix of DNA. And one strand of the DNA will be used as the template for transcription. Only one strand will be used. The second stage is elongation of mRNA strand. Once the RNA polymerase unwind the DNA, only one strand will be used as the template to produce mRNA. Then, after the unwind of the DNA, RNA polymerase will add free nucleotides inside the nucleus to the 3' end of the growing strand. As you can see in the diagram here, the RNA polymerase will move down the gene, okay, and then it will add, keep on adding free nucleotide to the 3' end of the growing mRNA strand. And the RNA polymerase will keep on going, keep on moving, uh, on the gene until it reach the termination site. You can see in this diagram how only one strand of the DNA will be used as the template. RNA polymerase will keep on adding a free nucleotide, free RNA nucleotide to the three prime end of the uh, growing mRNA. So, the RNA transcription occurs in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. And the nucleotides will be complementary to each other. Adenine will pair up with uracil and guanine will pair up with cytosine. As you can see in this uh, picture, where adenine will pair up with uracil, thymine will encode for pair up with adenine, guanine with cytosine, and so on. The final stage in transcription is termination. RNA polymerase will move along the gene and keep on adding free RNA nucleotides until RNA polymerase reach the termination site on the DNA. Once the RNA polymerase reach the termination site, it will stop adding RNA nucleotides. And then the mRNA strand and the RNA polymerase will be released from the DNA. The produced mRNA from the transcription process just now is known as pre-mRNA, as it contains exon and intron sequence transcripted from the DNA. Exon is the coding sequence, while intron is the non-coding sequence, where no protein will be encoded for this sequence. 
So we need to remove the intron here and here to get a mature mRNA that only contain coding sequence exons. This process is known as RNA processing. This process will involve an enzyme that is called as spliceosome, as you can see in a big circle here. This is a spliceosome. Spliceosome will excise or cut the intron out from the mRNA and ligate or join together the exon so that we will have a functional mRNA with continuous coding sequence. As you can see here, we have our DNA with exon and also introns. So once this gene, this DNA is transcripted into mRNA, it will also uh, contain exon and intron. So we need to remove the introns. So with the help of spliceosome, we snip out these introns and another introns and then we combine together, we join together the exons to get a completed continuous mRNA. A mRNA that will encode a functional protein. So here is the overview for RNA transcription. Remember, RNA transcription only involves one enzyme, that is RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase will bind to the promotocyte on the gene, unwind and open the DNA, the double helix DNA, and then we'll use only one strand of DNA as the template. And then the RNA polymerase will move along the gene and keep on adding the RNA nucleotide at the three prime end of the growing RNA transcript or the mRNA strand. And then once the RNA polymerase reach the terminator side, the RNA will be released as well as the RNA polymerase. And that is RNA transcription.